Hey guys, thanks for checking out Dating Dynamics today. So Matt and Nick here to answer another important question for you. Now out and about, you've probably heard the saying pretty often that nice guys finish last. So is that actually true? You know, do nice guys finish last? Yes, yes. <laughs> they absolutely finish last. And Matt and I can attest to that because for years we were those nice guys finishing last with the best of them, you know. Mm -hmm. So um, knowing that, though, the question then becomes, well, why do nice guys finish last? Um, and if you are one of those nice guys, then what can you do to become the guy that the girl of your dreams is going to actually find attractive? Right. So for us to give you an answer, we're going to have to first break down what a nice guy is in the context of dating. So a nice guy on a date is motivated by two things, and it could be one or the other or both. The first being fear of failure, which leads to them not taking many risks on the date. And the second being misinformed kindness. And what that is, is him doing things that he thinks she's going to really like. And she'd be like, oh, that's so nice of him. But in reality, she doesn't like on the date because it's not attractive to her. So we're going to give a few examples right now what that looks like on a date. Right, guys. So for this example, um, our classic nice guy has scored a date with a girl that he's really interested in. Um, but it's their first date. And so when he's thinking of all the really cool things they might do, um, he gets a little worried that maybe his interests uh, aren't going to line up with hers. And it might be a disaster if he just plans it all out himself. Right. So he decides, ah foolproof plan, I'm going to say, hey, uh, what's your favorite restaurant in town? And oh, what do you like to do here, you know, on a Saturday night or something like that? And that way he can plan a date that he's sure she's going to like because, hey, he wants her to have a good time, right? Duh. Sure. <laughs> um, but now, so they get on the date and everything's going good. Um, and man, she's just gorgeous, you know, and he's very attracted to her. But uh, he's afraid to show his attraction through any kind of physical touch because, well, he doesn't know for sure what she thinks about him. Yeah, maybe she's kind of interested because she came on a date with me, but like, I don't know if she's really that into me, right? Um, so, you know, when they're eating, he sits across from her, you know, gives her that space. They're watching a movie together and, you know, they could cuddle, they're on a couch and stuff, but he gives that healthy you know, comfortable distance of like, I'm not imposing on you mm. because he wants her to feel comfortable so that she can really get to know him as the good, nice guy that he is. Yeah, absolutely. You know, he's thinking like a gentleman here. So part of being a gentleman on a date is having a nice, pleasant conversation. So he's right. thinking like, okay, the point of the conversation is to establish common ground. I want her to see just how many things we have in common. And so they start having that conversation. He's asking questions about her. She's asking him some questions and he realizes, oh, well, I, I don't really like that thing. I don't really agree with her on this, but you know, that, but that's okay. I, I don't have to, you know, be abrasive here. I don't have to oppose her because I, I just want to establish that common ground. And hey, if I said something opposing her views, she, she might be offended. So I'm going to play it nice keep this conversation very pleasant and that's the right way to go about it because I am a nice guy. It's what we do. All right, guys. So we made it to the end of this wonderful, nice date. Um, and he goes home happy because he got to spend the night with this really pretty girl that he's super uh, into. And he's yes. got his fingers crossed that, you know, she feels the same way. But there's a problem. Ooh. She doesn't feel the same way. <laughs> no. <laughs> nope. Um, in fact, she's oh, really disappointed man. and honestly frustrated um, because she was hoping to spend the evening with an attractive man and she ended up spending it with a nice guy. And let's kind of break down just real quick why that is. So for one thing, the date that he took her on that he planned was actually one that she planned. He pushed that off on her. She didn't really get any new experiences or get to really learn anything about him and his ability to create fun and bring good things into her life because it was all her idea. <laughs> um, so when it comes to them actually being on the date, um, she didn't feel any of that spark and attraction from him. She knows that he's attracted to her, but he was unwilling to show that either because he was 
afraid or ashamed um, or just didn't you know really know what he was doing or maybe he wasn't attracted to her maybe she's confused about that at this point and so mm. that's definitely a problem so then when it comes to that wonderful conversation where he's determined that this is definitely the girl he's going to marry because of everything they have in common um, it was actually really flat and boring for her um, she was wanting an experience with a man who would flirt with her and who would have, there would be a lot of romantic tension and that push pull and all these different things. But he just, it was all just pleasantries and get to know you and man, you're great. And so am I look. Um, and so at the, at the end of it all, she's just, yeah, she's disappointed and kind of frustrated that she spent a whole evening with a guy that at the end of the day presented himself as low value and just unattractive not really fun yeah and you know and that's that's a hard thing to swallow but uh it is the reality of the situation so luckily next week we're going to be giving you a video that's the antidote to that problem we're going to be teaching you how to become prince charming and tell you how you can sweep her off her feet and give her the date that she actually wants so guys, uh, if you're interested in that, go ahead and su hit subscribe and the notification bell. You have to do both for some silly reason. Yeah, guys, so appreciate you tuning in. And until next time, take care, stay classy, etc.